Veterans from the greatest generation and the forgotten war will soon fly to Washington DC to visit the memorials dedicated to them. We flew with Honor Flight last year to share the experience. News 8's Abby Alford is live at San Diego International Airport with more on the efforts to send more veterans and the incredible story of a female veteran who served at San Diego's Naval Hospital. Abby. Alicia, we've shared the stories of when the World War II and Korean War veterans are dropped off here at the San Diego International Airport, having no idea the impact that this trip of a lifetime will have on them. And all of this is not possible without donations. This is a trip that belongs to our heroes, especially a woman that you'll meet that's sharp as a tack. As we sit down with author Winona Ruth Gunther, not only is she 100. That's a lot of years. She's also a World War II veteran who served in the Naval Waves, an acronym for Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service. She's written two books about her childhood and her time in the military. I wanted to serve. I came from a very patriotic family. She likes to go by the name Ruth. She was a hospital corpsman at St. Diego's Naval Hospital where she was a pharmacist mate first class, tending to wounded men in the Battle of Guadalcanal. Many had had malaria. And they were such young kids, I can still see them. She didn't fight on the battlefield, but had battlefield nightmares of her injured brother. And I saw this smoke. 75 years after World War II ended, Ruth is about to go on Honor Flight, a nonprofit that charters World War II and Korean War veterans to Washington, D.C. to visit their memorials. We flew with them last year. An elementary school raised enough money to fly Ruth, and on Saturday, March 7th, there's a gala to raise more money to send other veterans, which cost about $250,000 a trip. All of it paid through private donations. Last fall, they didn't have enough money to send everyone on the waiting list. A volunteer recalls the impact that this trip had on a Korean War veteran. It's a healing he never knew he needed to heal. The greatest generation says that the sacrifice they made then should never be forgotten today. Love their country. Security is everyone's responsibility. We asked Ruth, uh, what's her longevity to live till 100? And she says, laughter, a good marriage, and two good kids. If you'd like to learn more about the gala and also how you can donate and help out, just go to our website at cbsa.com. Click on the hot button.